Namaste guys, Ashish here for Namaste Tech. And in this video, we are talking about Asus Zenfone 3S Max Description Tricks. The phone was recently announced and if you're one of those users who are a big fan of Asus and their UI, let's talk about how you can make use of the phone at the maximum productivity level. So as always, most of the tips and tricks are around settings. That's where you should go. The first thing you see when you come under setting is suggestion. This is impressive. Now why I'm saying it is impressive because the UI of Asus, which is the Zen UI has actually improved a lot, especially with Android 7.2 now in place. It gives you suggestion of what you can actually use, what is not configured on your phone. So it is smart enough to figure all these things out. So you can see you have option where it says, you know, configure your screen lock with your fingerprint or use your voice for OK Google to search text alarms and more. A lot of things that is available. Now my cellular data is off and it gives me a warning for that as well. A few things you might be able to configure is it gives you option to turn it on instantly, but let's skip it for now. The first thing I will suggest to configure is your easy reading mode. You use mobile phones all the time, especially at night when there is a lot of brightness on your face and it actually puts strain on your eyes. So you can control that by using a warm color. So what you need to do is go to settings, then go to display and well, yeah, you can see it's all arranged very neatly. Something I like, go to display, scroll down till the end till you find blue light filter. Now it's a common term which actually lets you configure the overall warmth and temperature of your display and you can configure from level one to level five whatever suits you it actually helps in reducing strain on your eyes which is highly recommended the only thing which i don't really like about this setting is there is no option to schedule it for example i use my phone at night from like right 10 pm to 12 pm and this is where i would like to turn it on automatically the option is missing for that. Second thing you need to take control is the amount of notification that shows on your phone. If there are a lot of apps you use and there are a lot of notifications that keep on popping up, you can control it right from here. So for example, I can go to one of the apps, let's say Drive, and block all notifications that come from here or keep it in a silent mode and even override when it, your phone is in a do not disturb mode. Let's say you are in a meeting but you want drive to send out notification, you can turn it on. Even let's take a look at the power management. Now it's an important saying because battery is pretty important. Even though 3S Max comes with 5,000 mAh of battery, you need to make sure that when you are actually in a roaming scenario or when your battery is low, you can make use of this power saver option level where you can have your battery for making calls and receiving SMS, which is pretty important at many a time now there's a power saver direct option and you have a super saving power saving performance you have all these options to make use of it and you should do it asus 3s max come with a fingerprint sensor which is in the front make sure to have it configured now we have a separate video for that but one of the things which i haven't shown in the video is that it allows you to answer incoming calls you need to turn it on and it works Sadly, ASUS hasn't done much with the fingerprint thing. Probably it will come with the next update. For example, there's no gesture support. You cannot lock your apps using this fingerprint. So not with the inbuilt thing, but you can have a third party app to get it done. So at least for answering incoming calls, you have a gesture. Do you take a lot of screenshot? I'm pretty sure because I've seen or have myself used that if I want to show something from a different app to somebody else, I just take screenshot and send it across. Asus UI has made this a little easier to take screenshot. Instead of using power button and volume knocker combination, you can change it to something else. So when you tap on the screenshot, you are given with plethora of option. For example, you can use the recent apps key, which is this one to take screenshot. We can turn it on and if I tap and hold it, it takes screenshot. It's pretty easy and I think it's pretty convenient as well. You can enable the screenshot sound if you want it, you can have enable notification as well. If you're kind of user who loves to use gesture, Zen UI offers Zen Motion. Zen Motion offers you touch gestures, motion gesture, and one hand mode as well. 
So now that we are done with the settings part, let's have a look at our app called as Mobile Manager. It's a very common app which comes with Android 7.0 and some of the OEMs actually implemented it without it as well. But they all have a different name, but they work almost around the same thing. So it's called as Mobile Manager in Asus 3S Max and it gives you a lot of options. For example, find out data usage, power saver, boost it by freeing up memory, control on the notification, then you have cleanup option, privacy and security, and then it's something called as permissions. You also have option to scan. So if you think there are some of the apps which are consuming a lot of battery, you can have it. So you can see there's so much of option that it actually gives you. For example, stop unnecessary app, set a shorter time before screen goes off. So for example, I've set it as never. Just for this video, you can have it for 10 seconds. For a super boost option, which prevents memory from being used again, location services option, screen lock, apps maybe snoop, so it takes care of that, and boost from home screen as well. What I would suggest is have a look at privacy and security option, which scans which apps could be breaching your privacy or something around it which actually helps. For example, you can clean trace of usage of some of the apps, device has been scanned, apps may be snoop, so it takes care of that. Four apps that can read your SMS. Now, most of the time you get a prompt when those apps ask for permission, but if you think you have done it with a hurry, you can take care of that as well. Then you have that can track your location. If you don't want any app to know where you are, you can control it. Screen lock set and so many things that you can do. And there is also called as WebGuard, which actually works with the browser. So it takes care of those phishing site that asks for your data. It checks on that as well. Now I'll talk a bit about the app drawer, which comes in Asus 3S Max. It's pretty smart and it has been there since a long time. But if you are first time user of any Asus phone, you should actually know it. So when you come to the app drawer, you have here a lot of settings available. For example, lock apps, hide apps, smart group, play store, preferences. These are things we should take a look at it because if it suits your need, if you want your apps to be grouped properly, it can all do it for you, even hide some of the apps. It's not efficient, but it's a feature that is there. And if you're not very hardcore on, and if you're not very strict, that you want your apps to be hidden in such a way that nobody else can find out, you can have a use at it. Under call setting, you have an option where you can enable automatic call recording and scroll down where you can see the option called as auto call recording. You can tap on this and enable it further. You can have a custom list. You don't want to do it for all the calls or you can have it the way you like. So this is available and you should use it. So guys, that was all about tips and tricks of Asus 3S Max. Make sure to have a look at it. Try to use it, see what suits you best. And you can be really more productive with these tips and tricks on Asus 3S Max.